All right, the next step is we're going to install the crankshaft back into the engine. So what we want to do here is to add a little grease to the center of the crankshaft. And also add a little grease to the end of the crankshaft where the flywheel goes. And then holding the uh, connecting rod out of the way, very carefully slide the crankshaft into position. And then the connecting rod arm will push down on the piston and allow it to rotate around. And then now it's here, down here, and we're going to take the connecting rod hardware and reattach it here. Alright, to, to attach this final piece onto the connecting rod, we're going to use a quarter inch socket and the two nut, the two bolts that came with it. Now this piece only goes on one way, so make sure that you have it on the correct way. And that's the way there. Yeah, be careful, I just sliced my finger open here on the edge. So, set to tighten. I'll tighten these up a little bit to snug them up on their own. But ultimately I'm going to be using the torque wrench to tighten them up according to my specs between uh, 95 and 110 inch pounds. Well, first I'll go and wipe off the blood. Alright, now I've got the bleeding stopped. And uh, I tightened up these two bolts. Uh, just snugged them up with a regular ratchet. But now I want to put the torque wrench on it and tighten them to about 100 inch pounds. tighten there. That one's good. Another, another turn on that one. There we go. 100 inch pounds. And now my connecting rod is for my piston is connected to the crankshaft and it spins around freely. Next we'll work on the camshaft.